Let's talk about being positive, baby. Hey, two people in family. So, um, we have gotten, since we've been on since January, we've gotten so many comments about being positive. And, um, yesterday on my video, I got a uh, one of those comments I got, we actually got two, but, um, one just was really, really sweet. So, I am calling, calling out Rainy Zion, sorry Rainy, gotta do it. And she, her comment to us was, I always love li listening to you, I might not have been leaving a comment, but I do watch most of your videos. Just love you guys' positivity. And my comment back to her was, oh my god, you made me blush. And she really did. And guys, as Joey, I don't blush. Most of the time, I'm the one that makes people blush. I wrote, our channels are our journal, our diary. So good for good or bad. You you get the you get it all for better or worse. Positivity comes from being comfortable in our skin. Something that didn't happen overnight. Okay, guys. So no. It didn't happen overnight. Um, growing up, I I had a serious love hate relationship with being a crip. Um, I wanted to be like everybody else, uh, being able to walk and run and do everything that they could do and uh, I couldn't do it and I could but it took me longer and of course there was the the people that stared and everything and that's something you just have to get used to. I mean, and as a as a kid, you don't want to be stared at. You don't want to be that that different person. And um, I don't know. And so, I went through, I mean, I knew it was never going to change, but, and I made it work, and I had friends, I mean, uh, I'm not going to say that I was a loner, by any means, um, you've heard me say that I didn't really get along with a lot of crips as a kid. Um, I, I don't know why, I, I guess. I just don't know why. I guess because I always consider myself different. And um, I guess that makes it, made me prejudiced. But, uh, so I, I went through being a kid and in my teens, and of course, I had no way as my, my best friend, and I knew the score with him. I knew that eventually he was going to die, and he did.
and um, of course that made me be feel alone. I, but then I had more friends that were able white people, um, and my seventh grade year, I was given the honorary position of our JV football assistant coach. And so I got to go with them on their games and uh, in town and out of town. And uh, the team took me in and looked after me and everything. And I guess that's kind of where I started to get the true crib attitude and um, feel like I was going into myself. Um, and then, of course, uh, in ninth grade, I met Will and Rodney and, um, and Rob and Lee and Cindy and Harry and Vanessa from grade school. And uh, we would, we all would hang out and then you know we. And so it was that, that bond and they didn't hold anything back from me, which that was great. Um, so I, I guess, you know, it, it, I guess it took me a good 16 years, 16, 17 years to really be comfortable with my skin. Um, now I wouldn't go around and show my scars like I've done in uh, a video or two here on my head, but That, I mean, even now, I've gotten to a point where, you know, what the hell, you know? <laughs> if you're going to like me, you're going to like me. If you're not, then you're not. I can try to change your mind, but that's going to be up to you. Um, now, I said that this is... This channel is our journal or our diary, if you will, and um, of course, <laughs> we're sharing it with the, with the rest of the world and with the hopes of other people seeing and knowing that they're not alone in this world um, with whatever's going on in our lives. And if you can relate to that, you know, then we've done our job. So, I mean, obviously you've seen us when we're not as positive as we, as we can be, or we are human. I'm not going to ever deny that we're not superhuman when I, you know, Crip is not a free pass to having a shiny, happy life. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just, you just... Hopefully you get to a point where you just don't give a shit. And wherever the cards fall, the cards fall.
So I guess that's where our positivity comes is it's just I'm actually also I left a message on a comment to uh, one of our other family members, Jace, on his uh, channel. Jace Jacobs in his jar of poetry. And I said to one of his poems that You choose to see what you want in life. Nobody can make you see the bad. And um, trust me, we've seen plenty of bad, plenty of bad, but It's not how you fall, but how you pick yourself up, that defines you. And that's the way I want to be thought of. So, Rainy, I hope that answers your question, and the rest of you guys, I hope that gives you a little bit of, of uh, an idea of m my thought on the road to positivity. Um, of course, if you have questions, feel free to ask. I mean, that's another thing. I used to hate questions when I was young. And now I'm like, bring them on. I've heard it all. So. All right, guys. Of course, we love you, be good to each other, and check you later.